Hi everybody, Sean P. Connor here, aka Mr. M3. Today we're going to do a short video on Smart Office navigation. So Smart Office is one of the interfaces that Infor uses to interface with Infor M3 and Infor S3. And so we're going to go through and take a look at some of the functionality related to Smart Office. Here I have a blank slate. There's all kinds of things you could do. If you know program numbers, you would plug it right in here in the start field just like that. I just called up a program. This is in for M3 that I'm demonstrating here. Your configuration may be a little bit different. I'm going to minimize this window and a quick and easy way to create a shortcut is to click and drag the menu and just drop it right onto your canvas. Infor Smart Office is equipped with multiple widgets that you can pull onto your canvas. If you go up to Show, Widget Library, you see a number of different widgets that are pre-created that you can just pull right onto your canvas. In this case, I'm going to bring a clock, navigator, a quick note, and I'm going to bring over a sticky note. There's some magnetic areas over on the left hand side and the right hand side where things just kind of fall into place depending on where you put it. But in the middle of the canvas is pretty much free game and you can do whatever you want. Now let's say I'm setting this up for a particular user. I might want to create five or six different shortcuts and put them all into a folder. So let's do that really quick. I'm just going to type in some programs that I think would be helpful for someone in a warehouse setting and I'm going to basically drag those onto my canvas. I'm going to take these three programs and I'm going to group them into one folder. So I'm going to highlight all three and I'm going to click on group. And that just threw those inside this folder. Now I'm going to right click the folder, rename, and I'm going to label those warehouse. So now I have my warehouse. If I wanted to, I could drop programs directly in there or add, remove, and delete. Let's talk about Quick Note. Think of Quick Note as being able to take any piece of data within M3 and just dropping it into your Quick. So, for instance, if I wanted to take this item number here and just drop it in here, it now becomes available for use at any other program throughout M3. To see that again, I'm just taking a piece of data that's on my screen. Also, you could take data from other applications and drop it in there as well. I'm hitting Alt Tab to get back to my M3 program and dropping that directly right into Quick Notes. The same thing if I wanted to I could take something out of Quick Notes and you can see I'm clicking and dragging at this point. When I click and slide and the arrow has a little box that means I'm clicking and dragging and when I Alt Tab back to my other application I could potentially just drop that same data anywhere that I want. The Navigator is the M3 tree for all programs and applications within M3. Here we have admin tools, um, M3 basically programs, and mashups, and a series of user guides related to M4 M3. Both navigation bars, and if you don't remember the program itself, you could just type in part of the name and it should pop up. So for instance, I can never remember the program name of the program where if something's in put away we want to actually process that and put it away but I remember it's pending something so I'm going to type in the word pending and it automatically pulled up a program called pending put away MWS 460 you know what I'm going to take that program and I'm going to throw it in my warehouse folder now I won't have to remember what it was again. Lastly, I'm going to show you it's just a simple sticky note. So ultimately you could type in whatever you want to do and use it for whatever you want to use it. The clock can be configured by hitting the little by hitting the wheel icon. You could show a different time zone or change it to digital because what we all really need is another clock. These canvases can be custom made and pushed to different user groups. You can make a custom profile for the finance group, the warehouse group. Basically, you're able to export this canvas. You can save the canvas, which then creates a .jade file that you could use to set up other users and manage those globally. 
And that's a quick two minute overview of Infor Smart Office. There are other features that you could use and they have other clients such as the H5 client that you could utilize as well. Infor Smart Office is actually installed on my PC. Hey, thanks for watching the video and I hope you guys learned a couple of things. Make sure you follow me, like me, whatever, throw some comments in there of any other videos you want to see and I'll get to work. Thanks so much.